What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are all safe with the whole co uh, coronavirus situation. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use the Uni Converter by Wondershare. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new. And I would say, let's get started, obviously, right after the intro. So when you picked up this program through the link down below and you installed it, this is basically what you will see when you boot it up. So let's first talk about what it can actually do. So as you can see right here, it says convert, meaning that obviously we can convert files into different formats, whether that's a video or audio. We also have a download button, which you can obviously paste in a link from a YouTube video so you can download it straight to your computer. We also have a burn feature so you can burn actual MP3 files and video files onto a DVD or a CD, that's also possible. We also have a transfer button, which basically means that you can drop files in here and you can just select another drive and you can just place them in real simple right there. And we also have a toolbox, which is an image converter. We have a GIF maker. We have a screen recorder as well. We have the fixed media metadata. We have a video compressor cast to tv a cd ripper a cd burner and a vr converter so this program is not only for converting videos but you can also create gifs as you can see you convert images you can even compress videos and record your screen and everything so let's start off with converting a video now it's going to be really really straightforward so if we hit convert at the top at the left we can see the button where it says add files if you click on there we can actually select the files that we want to convert okay so i have a video from a while back now in order to convert this what we need to do is is pick a format first. So at the top it says convert all files to, and if we hit that, we can pick multiple formats. So right now it is MP4, so let's say that we want to have it in MOV or in AVI or WMV. We can all select them in the list. We have tons and tons of formats to choose from, even for YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, Instagram. So let's go ahead and pick the AVI feature. Now we can also pick the quality. You want to have a 1080p, 720p, standard definition, which is 480, or even 3D from left the right so let's pick the HD 1080p one and you can also convert it straight to audio so let's say that you only want to have the audio part from a video you can just convert it to audio we also have mp3 we have wave we have AAC FLAC AC3 and you can also convert it for multiple devices such as Apple Android Samsung Huawei HTC LG Google and so forth now let's go ahead and pick the AVI button and we're gonna pick HD 1080p what we need to do now is click on convert so right now it is converting and like how how long it takes depends on like how big is the file and how long is the video and it's obvious that 720p videos will be done quicker than for example converting a 4k video so on the right you can also see like how long it takes when the video is finished so it's a really really cool feature where you can actually go ahead and convert multiple files all right so the video is finished right now and it only took like a minute or so and right now if you want to see where the files are we're going to click on convert it and right here we have the middle button which which says open file location and as you can see it will actually straight take us to the window where we will see our converted file and of course it is .avi instead of mp4. So let's move on to the next feature which is obviously the download button. Now this doesn't really actually need any explanation because the only thing you need to do is go to YouTube. You want to copy and paste the URL by pressing Control C or right click and hit copy and then go back to the program and then you just basically want to paste the URL and then it will pop up in the menu. And obviously you can also choose what kind of format the video is gonna be, the audio is gonna be. You can even download the thumbnail of that video if you want to. So let's say that we wanna have MP4, obviously 1080p. We want to have MP3, the highest quality possible. Let's say that we're gonna also grab the thumbnail for a second. It's gonna be a JPEG file. All right, now we can hit download. Now what's cool is you will have a separate finished button for every menu. So not everything will be thrown into one folder and it's gonna be all over the place so it's a really cool feature that right now if you go to finished you will see the video right here and it will be in a separate folder than for example the video you just converted because like I've mentioned because everything would be a chaos if everything is thrown into one single folder so it also is the same for downloading videos like depending on 
on like how long it takes. It is just a matter of the length of the video. Are you downloading it in 4K or 1080p or 60 FPS or 720p? So it all depends on the length of the video. So the next one is the burn feature where you can just drag and drop files into this menu and then you can just select the station where you inserted an empty DVD and or a CD and you can just burn it straight away. So the transfer option works really easy where you just import your files at the top left and then you choose the station where you want to transfer them to. Okay, so the last option is the toolbox and I'm gonna just go through them real quick because it's actually like, if I'm gonna go all of them like in detail, like one by one, all nine of them. This video is gonna be like 30 minutes long. So I'm gonna just run through it and then you guys can go and pick this software up after the video is finished and you can check it out yourself. So the image converter is pretty self-explanatory. You click on it, you will actually be able to drop images in here, choose your format. For example, you have a JPEG file and you wanna convert it to a PNG. You just drop it in there and then you hit convert. Now the GIF maker is also very cool. So let's say that you want to place a GIF on your Instagram story or on your community post, for example, you can just drag on the files. So I have this one right here. And what you can do is you create a GIF out of it. So right here, you can also pick the start time. So let's say that you want to have it start right here. You can also choose the end position. So let's say that we're gonna use it that way. You can also choose the output size and the frame rates. I would put the frame rate to 30 because it's not really necessary to have a really, really smooth GIF because GIFs are mostly like a few pictures played really quick. So having 60 frames per second is not really making sense. And then you can just create GIF. Right here, it says making GIF. And obviously this counter will go up depending on how long your GIF is, the shorter or the longer it will take. So the next one is a screen recorder. It's a really handy one. If you click on here, we will actually become to this browser. You can choose the zone. So let's say that we want to have full screen. You can also just drag it in the corner and you want to drag the bottom right pointer to the very bottom of your screen. So you will capture everything that's going on right there. You can, you can also record your audio. So if I unmute it, as you can see, when I talk in the mic, we'll actually see these sound bars going up and we also have system audio. So if I play this back really, really soft, as you can see there, we have right now the audio play. That's basically how it works. And if we pause it, obviously the system audio marker is not going to move anymore. Right now, what we can do is we can hit record. And of course, right now it is recording our screen. And if you want to stop it, you can just go back, click on screen recorder. As you can see, it counts down to when it starts recording. If you click on this drop down button, you can also click on like where you want to save them, your frame rate of your screen, the quality, obviously you want to put that one to high and the frame rate, you can choose that yourself. I would just keep them on 30, but you can also record in 60 FPS if you want to. So the other remaining six features, guys, I'm going to let you guys explore it. So you can check out this program in the link down below. Like I've mentioned, you have like your CD burner, your CD ripper, so you can rip content that's from a CD onto your computer and so forth. So this is basically the uni converter, guys. It's a really, it's not only like a converter, it has multiple features from downloading videos to transfer files to different locations, as well as burning content off and on CDs and DVDs. The options are endless, guys. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for Wondershare for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously on Monday. Thanks a lot for the continued support and I will see you guys next week.